Good evening everybody, my name is Falgun and you're watching Bailey's Concepts. So today we're going to discuss about the general characteristics of gymnosperms. Okay, so basically we know, uh, we got to understand uh, the basic general characteristics before um, studying any kind of uh, life cycle of a gymnosperms. Okay, let us start this. So gymnosperms and angiosperms are called as an spermatophyta. So what is spermatophyta? Spermatophyta is nothing but it is an uh, seed bearing plants okay seed bearing plants are all plants those have seeds are are called as in spermatophyta so basically we as we know gymnosperms and angiosperms uh, have seeds right so that is the reason why these uh, these uh, gymnosperms and angiosperms are called as in uh, spermatophyta okay so coming to next point uh, gymnosperms having the 70 genera and uh, 800 species okay in whole gymnosperms we gotta understand there are uh, around 70 genera as well as the 800 species are coming under the gymnosperms so gymnosperms was first termed by Theobsterus uh, in 300 uh, BC these gymnosperms are intermediate in between the tetrophyta and the angiosperms Coming to the next part of a uh, general characteristics of the gymnosperms, uh, so here ovules are freely exposed before and after fertilization. Okay, so over next point is uh, ovaries are not enclosed by an ovarian wall. That is the reason why these uh, gymnosperms don't have any ovarian wall or ovary. I would say, and uh, these gymnosperms uh, are const are considered to have an uh, um, naked seeds uh, okay naked seeds in the sense these gymnosperms don't have any ovary that is the reason why gymnosperms are uh, having the naked seeds while if you compare with the angiosperms okay angiosperms having that uh, ovules ovules are common in between uh, angiosperms and the uh, gymnosperms both are having ovules but what is the difference basic difference the basic difference is angiosperms are having the ovarian wall or you you can say it as an ovary angiosperms are having the ovary while gymnosperms are not having the ovarian wall so gymnosperms having the naked seeds okay also gymnosperms are very good for timber okay it is very good for uh, very good source for timber as well as it is very good at uh, starch okay we can good uh, we can get a good amount of starch from the resins essential soils uh, and essential nuts as well okay so this was all about the general characteristics of an gymnosperms okay so if uh, if you if anybody will ask you about the gymnosperms okay uh, like uh, what do you know about gymnosperms then freely these are the basic points that should be in your mind before answering to anybody okay with this thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching